The Monster Who Lost His Mean by Tiffany Strylett Haber, illustrated by Christy Edmonds. Monsters are a spooky bunch, a scary, hairy group. They run in packs, leave giant tracks, and dine on eyeball soup. Mean, observant, noisy, super strong, and tough to please. Envious, remarkable. A monsters, all of these. One day, a monster's M went missing, gone without a trace. And every M is custom made, the kind you can't replace. So now he's just the monster, and the teasing never ends. Not only has he lost his mean, he's lost his monster friends. Boom, boom, crunch, crunch. The monster sits alone for lunch. Boo hoo, sigh, sigh. The monster's sad and starts to cry. I'm nothing since I lost my mean, he sobs into his stew. I've got to find that M, or else it's bye bye, monster crew. The monster tears through all his sheets and peeks beneath his bed, explores around the playground, and picks apart his shed. He empties every garbage can in all of monster wood. He even checks the engine under every monster's hood. Nothing, nada, not a trace. He hangs his hairy head. Without my M, I'm not myself. I'm someone else instead. He can't be mean to human kids, so why not help with chores? Sweeping, heaping, light housekeeping, organizing drawers. He joins in all their soccer games and rules at basketball. He doesn't seem to miss that missing M so much at all. I'm having tons of fun, he laughs, returning from a swim. But then he hears some other monsters making fun of him. The monsters feels embarrassed. He sees their point of view. I really need to stop this stuff and do what monsters do. Maybe I'll pretend I'm mean. I bet it's not that hard. Perhaps I'll pull the flowers out of Mrs. Power's yard. He stares at all the roses in their stunning shade of red, but just can't bear to harm them, so he waters them instead. The monster thinks, I'll throw some eggs at Mr. Launder's van, but winds up cooking brunch for the entire Launder clan. I'm way too nice without my M. My monster days are through. I just don't fit in monster wood. I'm not sure what to do. He sadly heads on home again with teardrops in his eyes. He swings his front door open and is greeted with surprise. A party in his honor? The monster's eyes grow wide. His name and picture cover every empty space inside. You're the coolest monster in all the world. I'm not a monster after all, the monster comprehends. I may have lost my M, but then I found amazing friends. Boom, boom. Pow, pow. The monster waves and takes a bow. Let's have three cheers. Hip, hip, hooray. He's happier in every way.